We'll now keep on talking about it. Keep on talking. We'll now keep on talking about it. Keep on talking. We'll now keep on talking about it. Keep on talking. We'll now keep on talking about it. Keep on talking. We're going to talk about the forgotten. Children of the world, children of the world, we gon' talk about the forgotten, we gon' talk about the forgotten, little boys and little girls, little boys and little girls. Uh, oh now, keep on Wild talking about the director of a mental hospital, deliberately adopted a young boy to be his sex slave for almost a decade. It's part of a pattern that spanned four decades and ensnared dozens of young boys. Folk was convicted of 20 counts of forcible oral copulation, nine counts of sodomy, and two counts of lewd acts for abuse between 1992 and 2001. His victim is now 30 and living in Atlanta where he remains anonymous. Eleven other men came forward, claimed folk molested them as children dating back to 1965. Five adult men testified that Falk would take them to a cabin in the mountains and force them to commit sexual acts, telling them that this is how men show love. Keep on talking about it. Keep on talking, woo now. Keep on talking about it. Keep on talking, woo now. Keep on talking about it. Keep on talking, woo now. Keep on talking about it. Keep on talking. Warning. Keep on talking. About Poor grandfather in Scotland was approached by a man who offered him a large amount of money to take his three boys and raise them. The grandfather thought that this would be a good opportunity for the boys. He didn't know that the man run a puppy mill, a place where young boys can be purchased for sex. It's named after the unethical practice of keeping dogs in cages simply to produce. They were only nine years old. The man forced the boys to do whatever the clients wanted, which was mostly sex. The boys were often forced to perform together for clients, viewing pleasure. Puppy mill boys are also used as assassins and drug smugglers. They are expendable and easy to replace. Since pedophiles consider it erotic to have sex with twins or triplets, the boys were in high demand and were sold and resold, eventually being shipped to England. Finally, they were sold to an organized crime syndicate and imported to the United States. In all, they were shipped to nine different locations. After one of the triplets attempted to escape, his owner drove a boat between the tendon and the bone in his leg and chained him to the wall, after which he was beaten to death at 12 years old. While in the U.S., the other boys were separated, one going to an even more brutal mill and the other going to a private home. After being brought back together because of the appeal as twins, they were eventually rescued at the age of 19. This is the face of the forgotten victim. Over 50% of cases in the United States are young boys. Even though this is true, still, 100% of all FBI investigations, all of their focus is on young girls. Oftentimes, these boys are overlooked, one, because no one believes that a young boy can be a victim. He must be a deviant, searching for sex, or money. Secondly, young boys are not allowed to come forward and tell what's happening to them. They're afraid that they'll be shamed, afraid that they may be considered gay, afraid that they may be considered unfit for society. Secondly, no one is even asking young boys if anything has happened to them. 
not the police, not organizations, nobody. This leads to the belief that young boys are not generally pimped. Furthermore, the boys are viewed as deviants. The reluctance to discuss the exploitation of boys is generated by a culture that is sometimes both homophobic and heterocentric, causing these victims to go unrecognized, therefore underserved. Keep on talking, boy, now. Keep on talking about it. Keep on talking, boy, now. Keep on talking about it. Keep on talking, boy, now. Keep on talking about it. Keep on talking, boy, now. Keep on talking about it. Keep on talking, boy, now. Keep on talking about it. Keep on talking, boy, now. Keep on talking about it. Keep on talking, bro. Keep on talking, bro.